Howdy, and welcome back to the channel. So there's one thing missing from this scene here. One of those things is the making of a very mediocre video, and the other is a set of keys. So what we're going to do today is we're going to remove these keys from this image here, and we're going to do it in Fusion. So the first thing we're going to do is we have our footage here. We're going to bring it into our edit page, and we're just going to cut the start a little bit because it's very shaky town. So here's our image here. We have our film, we have some keys, and we have a chord, which I have no idea what that is. So let's jump across to Fusion. So in Fusion, we have our two nodes here. Here's our media out. Now, highlighting our first node, we want to press Shift and Space, and that's going to bring up our Select tool. Now we're going to punch in Paint. Now we want to select Paint. We don't want to select Mask Paint. So select that, click Add, and that makes our little node here. Now in our paint, under apply controls, we don't want to be on the paint one. We want to be on the clone one. So two little paintbrushes hanging out together. Now up top here, we want to go to stroke. Now what we want to do is we want to zoom in a little bit because we are too far away. Holding middle mouse button. Let's just move it up a little bit. Now here's the trick. So if you hold alt and then click, what paint is going to do is going to use that area there to paint over your image here. Now I find the trick with paint is to use lots of different areas. So we'll say there's pretty good. Now I'm going to go over here and make another selection. Oop. And then just keep on painting it through. So let's try and match the wood grain here. So probably somewhere around there so each time you make a new selection all you got to remember is whatever's in the circle when you're holding old that is where it's going to paint from so at the moment i want to be over here so holding old click and that little x represents the new area that you're painting from and if you want your brush to be a little bigger just come across the size here so under brush control make sure to click it down and you make it a little bit bigger so we'll say about here, and then we just paint across. All right, so now we have our paint. What we want to do is we want to track this. So if we come across to our modifier, as you can see, we've made all these different strokes. So now the problem is that we don't want to track them individually. That will take way too long, and we are way too lazy to do that. So we're going to come across to our little mouse cursor here, click that, and then we're going to drag to make a rectangular box or just a rectangle over those brush marks is we're going to come to this box within a box within a box and we're going to click that now that's going to group all that selection together so all those brush strokes are now all hanging out together so we don't have to track them individually friends for life so now what you want to do is you want to go to center right click on it modify with and then you want to go to tracker position then come across the modifier. Now, as you can see, now we have a new tracker, tracker source. What we want to do is not double clicking, but just highlighting this first node here, drag it into your tracker source. So now it knows what to track. So now what we do is you click this little button here and that's going to start tracking. Now it looks very wonky, but just ignore that. It'll look less wonky when it finishes. So now it's done its business and it's finished very fast, I might add. So click OK. Now let's go to our color page and view this. We can view it in Fusion, but in color it's going to look better because what we're going to do is a quick color management to give our image a little bit of life. So let's make it full screen, Control F, and let's view it. And as you can see, it's completely tracked and it looks great. It completely blends in with the image. Now you might say this little part here looks a little bit off but if you look at the wood all in all it actually matches it really well if you didn't know those keys there in the first place you would never notice it but of course you can always go back and refine your selection easy as that so the color page has its own object remover so if you want me to do that one make sure to comment below and i'll show you how to do that one it's not as good as the paint in the fusion so i tend to use paint more than i would ever use the object remover in the color page but again, if you want to see it, make sure to comment below. If you want to see anything else, make sure to comment below. Comment below anything you want. 
I've been Drew from Gingo Productions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.